Hey, this is Mass Sex with a brand new Echo Calypse video. And yes, Mori has arrived. So let's talk about this character and see if there's any changes with this character. This character is Bitfrost, okay? It's a DPS, as we talked about in our prior video. A burst DPS on top of that. Um, clocking in with the base stats they're showing at the HP at 2432, attack 16 to 80, armor 537, resistance 537. And in support, Bitfrost team members, resistance plus 10%, effective even when not deployed, as we know. Attack support, and DPS team members, attack percent plus 10%, same thing, effective when not deployed. And attack support, all units, all team members, attack percent plus 10% effective even when not deployed. Now the key to this character, the skill set, let's take a look at this. So tactical charge, Mori throws her spear and the spinning spear inflicts 176% physical damage on a single unit in the enemy's back row. It deals an additional 176 physical attack damage to targets inflicted with annihilation. Okay, so at level one, zero stars. Mori will throw her spear and that spinning spear inflicts 120% physical damage versus at seven stars, 176. Um, it, it deals an additional 120% physical attack damage to targets inflicted with annihilation. At level two, that's gonna go to 145%. Level three, it's gonna go to 176%. Take that back, sorry about what I said before, not seven stars, three stars. So at three, you're going to get that full 176. So you're basically looking at, look at that, th over 350% physical damage on a single target. Pretty sick stuff. For riding high, the next skill, Mori moves among the enemies dealing 476% physical damage on a single unit in the back row of the enemy. She deals additional physical damage equal to 476% of attack to targets inflicted with annihilation. If the attack defeats a target inflicted with annihilation, Mori launches a normal attack dealing 100% damage. The skill has an additional 100% crit rate. That is fully maxed. That is absolutely nutty. I cannot believe that. So if you get that character um, unlocked at seven stars, that's what you're looking at. But then the question comes, let's say you're free to play. What's it at zero stars? You can only get one copy. Mori moves among the enemies dealing 336% physical damage on a single unit in the back row of the enemy. Not bad at all. She deals additional physical damage equal to 336% of attack to targets inflicted with annihilation. So all you're basically, you're losing about 140% between zero and seven stars. And you also lose the additional text of if the attack defeats a target inflicted with annihilation, Mori launches a normal attack dealing 100% damage. The skill has an additional 100% crit rate. So you lose that. So for free to play, it's still an effective character. That's a lot of damage and it's a back row hitter, which makes her value go higher. But like what we talked about before, if you have some other primary DPS characters that you've already pulled, there's been great ones that have come out over the last six to eight weeks. This character is definitely not a necessity. So looking at wind erosion, okay? At the start of battle, inflicts annihilation on all enemies. Well, there we go. There's our answer on annihilation. Lasting for the whole battle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mori's first one active attack ignore the target's damage limit <laughs> wow okay <laughs> dang um and that is the level one let's see what it is at tier six increase all allies attack by 20 percent at the start of battle inflicts annihilation on all enemies lasting for the whole battle mori can free cast once her first three active attacks ignore the target's damage limit. That is freaking so freaking messed up. 
Oh my god. Shoo. Damn. She's gonna be freaking. Oh. That's gonna be messed up. Like I said, she's a burst DPS, single target, going to wreck individual characters. That's what she's made for. Oh man, that last part <clears throat> has made my head spin for a second. So, checking out the links, pretty straightforward. You know, there's Dina and Bean. Oh, it's nice to see her paired up with Niz too. That's that's definitely very cool because when deployed with Dina and Niz, Mori's attack is increased by 25%. Oh, that's that. Like she needs more, right? And with Tarwe, she gets another increase to attack by 18%. Whew. Yeah, I mean, when we're talking DPS, we're just looking about how are we going to get that attack? How are we going to get that crit? How are we going to do that crazy damage? Now let's look at her arms, okay? So, Mighty Warrior, the vibration skill. Whoever gets targeted by a meteorite is as good as dead. Well, I couldn't say it any simpler than that. Mori increases her basic skill damage by 45%. At the start of battle, Mori... Ignore defense increases by 30% lasting for the entire battle. Um, if you get her, I'm already saying now, you need to get her arms. Freaking what the hell? Oh my god. The breakthrough effects. Level 1. Whoever gets targeted by the mirror eye is good as dead. More increases her basic skill damage by 15%. Okay, so let me guess. That ridiculous text is at level six yeah with the ignore defense increased by 30 percent for the entire battle is on level six holy mackerel that is freaking nuts to me wow and it doesn't really kick into level four where you get to 20 percent dang man this character is just gonna f some up <laughs> wow um well you know you're gonna be targeting this character if you're playing against it that's all i have to say so looking at the organizational chart we can see it's niz yulia and mori together um so you're basically hp attack defense bonuses as we know this is what you're always looking at the passive skill so at level one when a total of five enemy cases retreat more gains an extra round this can only be triggered once in the entire battle at level two when a total of five enemy cases retreat mori restores her rage to four and gains an extra round once per battle at level three when a total of four enemy cases retreat mori restores her rage to four and gains an extra round this can only be triggered once per battle same and it looks like it's the same for level four. Now, once you get all the way up to level 60, um, when the total, of, it drops down. That's the big change. It drops to three enemies, level 75, two, oof, one. Nice passive, for Mori at least. Very nice passive. You know, don't ever sleep on the organizational chart when you're looking at your main characters that you're for your main team always go in there and see if it's worth gifting even if you're not using some of those other characters because a lot of times those passives are crucial and there's her skin i showed the still image in the other video it's tough I, I think the original skin they put on is really nice this one's cool too but couldn't even me doesn't she look like i don't know like should i be slightly pregnant in this I don't know maybe it's the way they have her standing when I look at it from the side I'm like hmm huh, okay the original skin actually is pretty cool and is of itself they're two completely different skins so hey if you're into that I guess you're gonna just decide whatever one you like better so there we go our first look at Mori 
<clears throat> no doubt this character is freaking going to be good. I cannot wait to figure out a good team for this character because you're going to want to protect this character because it's a single hit DPS if you if you do plan on using it and you're going to want to maximize her attack like we talked about and making sure that she can do the most damage possible because when she hits somebody on that back line you want to know they're out they're gone they are finished so interesting character good character not a character that i'm going to say is a must get at this point um because it's a single hit dps so let me know if you're pulling for it or not um i know i will be because i collect all of them but and i'm really curious to see where i can go with some teams with with going with a single hitter i think it'd be an interesting focus to go a completely different route than what's been the metal lady lately and see if it's functional so with that as always please like and subscribe it helps a lot have a great day